What's up guys, Jason here, back at it again with another video. For today, we'll be unboxing and reviewing the newest wireless mic from Rode, which is the Wireless Go 2. If you guys are familiar with the original Wireless Go, it was a small digital wireless microphone system that uses a 2.4 GHz digital wireless transmission, which is what I'm using right now. It's just clipped on via magnets. It's one of the smallest wireless microphone systems that you can buy, which is why this is our microphone of choice. Especially if you're a budget filmmaker, YouTuber, or even a news reporter. It's been almost a year since we bought this mic, the ROI is good on this one, and we wanted to take a look on this new wireless go too. So what are the new features and what's the same? Let's find out. First, let's unbox and make it quick. It has a bigger pouch to store your mics in. It's a bigger pouch than the original one because now we have three instead of two. This male 3.5mm to male 3.5mm audio port, well on the original one it was coiled but now they shortened the cable, which is nice if you want to keep things clean. Three USB Type-C charging cables, which is now flat and shorter than the original ones. The quick start guide, three dead cats or dead kittens. Well, we only need two, but they gave us an extra one. Two transmitters instead of one, and one receiver. The wireless go to doesn't stray from the original. It's still small, handy, and pocketable, but it has a few more features that make it more capable and much more versatile. First, let's talk about its design. The wireless go to offers the same pocket size as the original one. The receiver weighs about 32 grams, and each transmitter weighs around 31 grams. Each transmitter offers the same built-in omnidirectional condenser capsule found on the original Wireless Go. And these three features the same clip design as the original, which means if you have some of the original accessories of the Wireless Go, it can work just the same on the second generation, like my mag clip or even the interview Go. So let me give you a quick rundown of its new features. It has dual channel recording, makes sense because you have two transmitters and one receiver, an extended range, well for me it's kind of not applicable because we don't really go far off the camera as we always shoot on our studio, but it may come handy in the future when we can all go outside, a safety channel, and get this a Rode app. We don't really have this on the original Rode mic, and universal compatibility with computers, mobile devices, and of course, cameras. So let's talk about its build quality. Actually, looking very close at it, it's just the same as the original Wireless Go. However, I haven't had any issues about build quality on the original Wireless Go over the past few months. So I'm guessing this Wireless Go 2 has the same exact construction and will last me for years to come. And get this, we have dropped the original version one too many times that I don't want to admit, and it has never stopped working. Just like its predecessor, the Wireless Go not only has a 3.5mm mic input jack, but it also has a built-in omnidirectional condenser capsule. And yes, this is the same built-in microphone that is found on the original. It is claimed to ensure reliable audio pickup even if the mic placement is less than ideal. But then again, I don't really go far off from the mic, but this is very nice to know. The included 3.5mm TRS output cable lets you connect the receiver to your camera or audio recorder. Also, you can get an optional SC15 USB-C to lightning adapter to allow you to record on your smartphone or even tablet or other compatible devices. You can plug your headphones directly into the output of the receiver unit to monitor when recording into a smartphone or tablet, which is not available on the original Wireless Go. For the original, you had to buy a TRS adapter to TRS, you have to buy the lightning to 3.5mm audio jack, yeah, dongle life is real, it's gonna be messy. The Wireless Go 2 is a dual channel wireless microphone system which means you can record two sound sources simultaneously or use it as a single channel wireless microphone, which is why we now have two transmitters instead of one. Also, the good thing about two transmitters, well, this was our struggle with the Wireless Go 1. Mary and I cannot really do a collab video unless we're using a shotgun mic because it's kind of awkward if we're gonna do like, hey, I'm Jason, hey, it's Mary. Okay, correction, it's your tech girl Mary. Yeah, collaborations will be easy because of the Wireless Go 2. Just like Rode's Rode Link wireless systems and the original Wireless Go, the Wireless Go 2 uses the same 
2.4 gigahertz frequency band but the wireless go 2 gets an all new series 4 2.4 gigahertz digital transmission with 128 bit encryption by using the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band users don't have to worry about scanning for channels just to get the strong signal this is gonna be easily the best feature of the wireless go 2 it's the onboard recording capability well I hate to admit it but sometimes I forget to turn on the receiver or even the transmitter it happened one too many times the camera didn't really record audio and yeah i had to reshoot the whole thing good thing the wireless go 2 now features onboard recording capability you can record over 24 hours of audio directly to each transmitter and no you don't have to put in a micro sd card because it has internal memory it's a fail safe against dropouts and other audio issues this is a great feature especially for a wireless microphone system that works on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band Rode gives you the option option to switch between mono and stereo recording modes. This means that you can record each channel separately or combine them for more flexibility later on. Now let's talk about the new app. You can download this app for Windows or Mac. It's named Road Central and this app gives you complete control over all its features and functions. And if you're asking if you can edit the audio in app, no you can't do that. You still have to use your own editing software. And now let me give you a quick comparison of the wireless Go, the original wireless go which is what i'm using right now and as i've said earlier the mag clip still works with the wireless go 2 and i'm now currently using the wireless go 2 my test my test one two three and as you can see actually the audio sounds better we've been using it the past few days now and i must say it's really a game changer i thought it wasn't going to be a major upgrade but damn actually it sounds a lot better and now we're using it with the road lavalier go Testing one, two, three, mic test, mic test, one, two, three, mic test, one, two, three, four. Well, we only use lav mics depending on what the clothes we're wearing. So for example, if we have clothes that are too light to carry the wireless go, we opt for the Rode lav mic. We actually bought the original wireless go on Lazada and I'll leave the link down below. And even the Rode lav go. Now you're probably questioning how did we get the wireless go too? We've actually outsourced it and bought it on a reseller on Facebook. And yeah, the pricing is kind of high. This Rode Wireless Go 2 costs $300, but of course we had to pay for shipping, tax. So yeah, the prices went up to 21,000 pesos. So if you're planning to get this, I really do suggest that you have to just wait until it reaches our Philippine shores. I'm sure Henry's Professional or even Lazada will have it eventually. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Again, it's me, Jason. See you in the next one. Bye guys.